Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so this is going to be a maging, maging, a major cleaning video. So as you can see, my entire house is just a wreck, like a wreck. Okay, so I actually the footage in this video is actually over like a week long. I did like one room here and there, and just really deep cleaned and decluttered so much like I did all the bedrooms the nook the hallway everything the kitchen and I got rid of so much stuff but a lot of this video is also just kind of like showing you after because sometimes I just get in the mood where I can't deal with the camera and worry about the angles and the filming and all of that and so a lot of the cleaning that I did, I did it off camera and then I just showed you after. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill and I am going to do a cleaning marathon this weekend and I'm going to take you guys along. This house is in desperately need, desperate need of a good mama clean, okay? Mama needs to clean every inch of this house because you know kids just they don't do it perfect but every once in a while the house just needs mama's touch and so this weekend I am going to be cleaning every room in this entire house I'm gonna be decluttering I am gonna try to get rid of at least five items in every room, hopefully more in some rooms. I also want to rearrange my living room today because we had some new neighbors move in a couple houses down and they have this giant 15 foot long sliding glass door that they are going to get removed and they're putting in new doors. They are giving us for free, they are giving us their 15 foot sliding glass door. Double pane, like gorgeous, oh my gosh, you guys. I'll, I'll show you guys when I go in there. I'll explain it more when I go in that room. But my concern now is how I'm gonna have the furniture placed because I wanted to get an L, I wanted to make an L shaped sectional for that corner and now I don't, I don't know if I want to have a sectional in front of a sliding glass door. You know what I mean? So, All right guys, so sometimes I just have to clean without worrying about the cameras and the angles and everything like that. So I decluttered these countertops. I got rid of stuff that was up here on the counters. Um, I just did a really thorough cleaning in here there's still some dishes in the sink because I was mostly like deep cleaning um, cleaned like off all the window sills and the edge the very top edge of the backsplash was covered in dust um, scrubbed behind the sink which usually gets neglected because I can't reach I have to use a stool to get back here and so I don't clean it a whole lot anyway yeah, so I still need to do the grout, but yeah. So I have some bad fruit in here that is leaking, and then there was a powdery mold um, orange in there that like left a spot there. So I just need to clean out this shelf really well, and then toss out the bad stuff and put the new stuff in. This is all the new stuff, and then I accidentally just stepped on that so I need to clean that up too and look there's a tangerine in this hamper awesome <laughs> so anyway time to clean this area up I have the fourth load of laundry that I have done today is in the dryer so I'm done with laundry for the day Where that I'll stay here with you. Oh, 
guys so what I did in here was oh I have to deal with that but anyway what I did was I just gathered everything and sorted it so there was school stuff in here there was books there was um, math manipulatives there was Legos just so much stuff okay I sorted everything up and put it where it needed to go I emptied all these bins and bagged up loads and loads and loads of clothes and shoes that they don't need. I kept all their favorites. I hung up their church clothes and their bins are pretty minimal. Now this is like sweatshirts and PJs so that one gets filled faster but um, yeah. So anyway, so all of their stuff is nice and organized. This is all of their stuffed animals and the top is Briella's and then Stella's and then Aubrey's stuff. And then over here, this is what they are the most excited about. So I took all the kitchen stuff out and all the kitchen toys and those are at our church now in the um, children's like playroom at our church. And these are mine and Rich's old nightstands. I'm going to get some knobs for them. Um, but this is Briella's and this is Stella's. And they got to organize all their stuff in their drawers. And of course they decorated some on the outside. Um, but literally all of Briella's stuff was like on her bed. It was under her bed. It was just really, really bad. Um, this bunk bed wasn't even against the wall anymore and there was a ton of stuff just shoved on the side here it was just bad so this is what I have bagged up in their room so far I need to get another bag because this one's full and then I have all this stuff back here I'm kind of trying to hide it a little bit um, and then so many shoes so many shoes Okay, so this is the progress I've made in the boys' room so far. I took their bunk beds apart. I took the railings off of the one that was the top um, for Lawson's bed just because he doesn't need the railings on there. It's I'm not going to make it into a bunk bed anymore. The boys just do not like the bunk beds. Cade doesn't like being on the bottom because he doesn't feel the ceiling fan and he gets hot under there. He doesn't like um, that he can't just like come and sit on his bed comfortably during the day. Um, anyway, I'm just showing you like how bad it is in here. Like there is just so much stuff. And then here is more progress later. I'm in the sorting phase where I'm just getting everything out of every nook and cranny and sorting it all out. This is everything that's in the hallway while I'm cleaning his room. I'm sticking stuff out in the hallway that does not belong in there. Like a big giant tub of granite. Anyway, so I'm just showing you the progress that's being made. It looks a million times better in here. So there's Cade's bed. His guitar's over there. This is Lawson's bed. These are the Legos. I put them in a nice big bin because the problem is his bin was so shallow that they just, they would spill out when he would dig for Legos. So now it's nice and deep. I have his rock collection up here. And then his books and Bibles. And he he started organizing this the way he wanted it. So a while ago, the kids, like, they taped rugs in here and decorations on the walls. So they, like, made houses for all their little pets. Over here is telescope, toolboxes, building blocks, his dresser, chair because he can't reach... Um, he can't reach the chains to turn on and off his light, so he always has to drag a chair out to do that. All right, guys. There we have it. Super excited. All right, guys. I officially have three loads of laundry piled 
on my bed. I'm gonna be here a while. Alrighty guys, I got all of that laundry folded and put away. I have so much over here. Some of it's gonna be going on Poshmark and a lot of it's gonna be going to Goodwill, but. Alrighty guys, so I have spent the day just kind of tidying up the entire house. Um, this area was so bad, so, so bad. And this was just filled with trash bags of like hand-me-downs and stuff that we weren't keeping, just tons of stuff that is gonna be for donations. Actually, I'll show you out here how much stuff I got out of the house. So I got this rug out finally. I had this listed for a while. A couple people were interested, but they didn't want to drive all the way to my house to get it because I live far. And so I'm gonna donate it now. Um, this chalkboard is gonna go in our goat shed. I have all of these trash bags of clothes and shoes that need to go in my car. I got this thing out here. Um, here's more trash bags. I got this desk out. I plan on refinishing it and using it in the girls' room. Um, okay, let me go back inside. It's really windy and freezing out here. I rearranged the living room because, like I said, I think I said it earlier. I can't remember. Um, we're getting a 15-foot long sliding glass door. It's going to go from that edge all the way to this edge. So it's gonna be all, all, you, all you're gonna be able to see is the view, which is gonna be so awesome. Um, so I'm not gonna finish the baseboards like I planned on because there would be no point. They would be, it would be a waste of money. Um, okay, so this, well, this whole area was bad because like that rug was here, the chalkboard. Oh, actually I forgot about this box. But, um, so I got all this cleaned up. There was stacks of stuff just everywhere in here. Obviously, like, my kids are still playing and, you know, so there's, now there's toys littered around. Got my room all clean. Again, there's a toy <laughs> that wasn't there five minutes ago. Um, so my room is all clean and tidy and, yeah. So, one more thing I wanted to do in here is, I don't like this situation over here. So, this box holds my stuff. Like, I have my planner here. I have, like, a bunch of stuff that I use during YouTube. I keep that box there, but now that we don't have, and like, my glasses are up there. Now that we don't have end tables, um, I just feel like it's in the way. So, I actually was gifted a coffee table in exchange for a YouTube review. So, I'm going to open up my coffee table. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to put it here. It has um, shelves under it for storage. So, I'll be able to get that box out of here and just have my stuff on the shelves, which is perfect for me. So, why are Aubrey's shoes here now? Gosh, like seriously. <laughs> Can't keep up. Can't keep up. So, anyway, I am going to unbox my new coffee table. These are all the pieces. Camera died, but it's done. And I won't let it rush when I see you dance in the 
All right guys, so my battery died the other night after we put this coffee table, actually while we were putting the coffee table together. Hold on. Isn't that so cool? It has storage shelves on it. So there's those two big shelves which are awesome. And then there's one side over here a side over there. I'm gonna be able to put my um, box here that I keep all my stuff in. So that's gonna be really nice. Um, I also am so happy to finally have a flat level surface for my kids to write on when we do school and when they are building blocks and stuff. We've always had this super unlevel surface. So it'll be really nice having this flat level surface. guys so it is nice and filled up the way I wanted it now I don't have to have any boxes on the floor or anything like that which was driving me crazy there was also some items that I wished we could have in here all the time that there was just no space for all right so I have our colored pencils and pencils here that way it's always here when we need it and then Okay, and then down here, we have our chess and checkers game. So inside here, we have checkers and chess pieces, and this, this belonged to um, my husband's dad. Kids aren't allowed to play with it unless they are um, supervised, and Rich plays chess with the kids, and then they play checkers with each other, but, and then I have Aubrey's Legos and letters here, um, she has, she has, like, some, some of the bears in here, so she likes to make little houses, and then play with these, like, little dinosaurs and animals and stuff, she loves using those so I like that they are just right there for her and then coming over to this side I might get a smaller box just because it's hanging over a tad bit but this is my box that I keep all of my stuff in for doing YouTube I love that it is right here for me and now my laptop too can sit out all the time which it's it's always just been on top of the coffee table and the kids They'll like sit on it or step on it or they'll like accidentally slide it off the coffee table, which is really bad. Now it has its own little spot right there. It'll be nice and safe. And then down here, I decided to put all of our morning books that we use for homeschool. So in the morning, these are the books that we use for our morning time. And I like that they'll be right here instead of me having to get up and get them and then put them away every day. They'll be right here every single day. And that makes me so happy. And then over here, these are my kids' readers. So these are the books that they are going to be reading. So yeah, I'm so excited with my new coffee table. I highly recommend it because it is such a good solution for clutter in the living room. I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy. I like that I can put something there that invites Aubrey to play when she comes in. And she knows that she cleans up her own messes now. So that is awesome too. And yeah, I'm just really happy with this. I love the way it looks. It is gorgeous. I love the metal and the wood. There we have it.